Hey Sandites, um, Tim Courage, you guys seem to have it rough this week. You guys are working with elapsed time. Um, a lot of you having trouble with that. Um, there's really not a whole lot to it. Just remember, um, there's 60 minutes in an hour, 60 minutes in an hour, 60 seconds in a minute, and um, you should be just fine. If we have four hours and 43 minutes, let's say that we want to add 11 hours, 27 minutes, we're just going to add these up. 7 and 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, carrier 1, four five six seven and then we just add up the hours eleven plus four would be fifteen fifteen hours and seventy minutes the problem with that is there's only sixty minutes um, in this time frame so we have to subtract sixty and we end up with 10 and the one that we subtracted we have to add those 60 minutes which is one hour to the one hour so we end up with 16 hours 10 minutes on that one so um, you know it's, it's just just a matter of adding the problems up putting them down properly and if you have to subtract 60 and add to the minute slot uh, uh, or the hour slot shouldn't be a problem to do some of you had this one if you have 14 hours and if you want to subtract 9 hours and um, 43 minutes from that well it uh, kind of threw you off what I would suggest that you do is go ahead and put zero minutes in that blank spot and looking at it you can't take 43 minutes from zero minutes so let's borrow from this hour now we didn't borrow one hour well we actually did but what we did we borrowed 60 minutes now we won't have any problem at all taking 43 from 60 okay so let's do that real quick we can't take 3 from 0 so we have to borrow and then 3 from 10 10 9 8 7 and then 5 from 4 would be 1 so our minutes would be 17 minutes and then we just subtract the 9 from the 13. 13, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, which would be 4. So we end up with 4 hours and 17 minutes on, on that one after we subtract. Um, really quick, uh, another thing that you're having difficulty doing, if you are giving a time, let's say um, 10.45, AM and you wanted to find the elapsed time to 525 PM those that posed a problem because you're going from AM to PM what I suggest doing is get this AM into the PM by subtracting that time from 12 o'clock okay again we can't take 45 from zero so let's borrow and what did we borrow we borrowed 60 full minutes so now we can take 45 from 60 we have to borrow 5 from 10 would be 5 4 from 5 would be 1 and then 10 from 11 would be 1 so the difference to get the 1045 to 12 o'clock is an hour and 15 minutes now all you just need to do is add that to your 525 p.m. and if you have add those together 
two, three, four, you end up with six hours and 40 minutes being the time elapsed between 6.45 a.m. to 5.25. Let me know if I need to uh, uh, upload any other samples. Um, you can contact me uh, uh, through Facebook. Uh, send me an email, uh, .sandite, um yahoo.com, and um, I'll see you at school. Good luck.